Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another insight. Today I'm excited to share with you the results from me testing the free version of Oct the Octane Render Engine for the Unreal Engine, right? So what you see here, this is uh, in the Unreal Engine, so that's back there is the viewport. And what you see on top is the uh, the Octane render that is free. This is uh, the, the it's called the Prime version, and I used a couple of uh, AI programs to bring this together. In the background, I use Blockade AI to create that beautiful uh, 360 degree environment. And then over here, I wanted to test out some uh, like a case, some kind of crate, you know, that you often see in uh, Star Wars. And let me uh, rotate so you can see the crate right there. And this particular crate, the textures I used uh, this particular program called Poly with Poly. So I'm able, you're able to create textures with Poly, generate 3D material with AI in free online editor or such out growing. So they provide a number of uh, seamless textures over here, all manner of textures. They're kind of similar with what you get with a Quixel Bridge, but this is uh, AI generated. And the awesome thing is you are able to customize them. So here is the interface. I'm able, I wanted a crate of some kind. So I, I wrote damage crate, a shipping crate kind, you know, kind of thing. And they offer 8K textures. So once you're, before you start, before you press enter, after you've entered your prompt, make sure you select uh, the 8K. And then you can select what kind of uh, materials you want. It can be organic, matte, shiny, fabric, diverse, polished. So when you look at this whole catalog over here, it's a reflection of uh, the kind of quality that they're able to provide. And once you've rendered it, you, it will be like a progress bar over here from left to right. And you're able to get 8K version. So for this is the color, the albedo. And you're able to get the normal map that gives you the nice detail over there and you're able to get the height map and the ambient occlusion map as well as the roughness map. And when you click on this 3D view, then you're able to see it in 3D and you're able to rotate and take a look at it. And when you're ready, you click download over here and you can go, you can do 32 bit version of the AXR ones to. So this is a, a when you sign up and register to become a member, you're able, you get access to the 32-bit versions, okay? So I was able to download all these images into, I uh, brought them into the Unreal Engine over here. So let me go to my Unreal Engine and I'll show you real quick what that looks like. over here. So there's the crit 2 and there's the color map, the displacement map, the normal map, roughness map and the ambient occlusion. And uh, that particular shader you can see it plug into the maps over here with basic shape. So that's where that's the awesome quality of uh, using AI to generate like image like a texture for something that you want specifically. Because you might go to the uh, Quixel Bridge and yes, it's an awesome library, but you may be looking for something very specific. And for me, I was thinking of a crate that could be part of this environment. And you can see it over there, set out with uh, the texture map laid out and the basic shader. So in the base map, the roughness, the normal map, the ambient occlusion over there. And so that's what you see over here. And it looks great with uh, the Octane Render Engine. So this is really cool. The Octane Render Engine is free for you. You can get it from the Autoy forums. You have to sign up uh, to get an account with them. And then you're able to download one for the Unreal Engine 5.1 and one for 5.0. I'm using 5.1. So there's the studio version. This studio version enables you to render with multiple GPUs. And with the free version, you can only render with one GPU. So if you have like a 3090 card, then you're home free. <laughs> you're able to just render that with no sweat at all, right? And so that's what I have here. And uh, I've done a tutorial in the past that shows like the different uh, settings. But as you can see, this is almost close to real time, not quite, but close. And you can see how the environment looks over here. So there's the Stormtrooper. That means going over here. And you know what's really cool about the Unreal Engine, uh, the Octane Render Engine? It has the ability to 
autofocus. I really, really like that. So I'll give you an example. So you see how the backdrop is out of focus here. If I rotate the camera and focus on it, guess what? Now it's in focus and the Stormtrooper is out of focus. So cool. <laughs> So guys, today I just wanted to share with you a little bit of uh, some exciting news that uh, the free version of uh, the Octane Render Engine works really well with 5.1, the Unreal Engine 5.1. 5 5.2, as of the recording of this video, hadn't come out just yet, but you can see the quality of that. And you're able to render sequences. And again, I, I recorded a video in the past that shows you how you can render this with a movie render queue. And it looks awesome. <laughs> So cool. It's been a while since I revisited this, but uh, to see that uh, there have been a number of uh, updates. And by the way, this particular sphere, I mean, rather the uh, background that you see over here, I was able to use the HDR backdrop and edit it into the scene. That's where I'm able to add an image. So for example, if I, I go back to the skybox over here, skybox AI, this is skyb skybox of blockadelabs.com. And you can see the environment here that I was able to uh, generate using artificial intelligence. I just really wrote Star Wars Tatooine, Tatooine. <laughs> and it gave me this kind of uh, quality. And I downloaded it, then brought it into Photoshop. And right now, if you right click on the image size, you can see the size is 6,144 by 3,072. And in order for it to work really well, inside of uh, uh, the Unreal Engine, I had to go to the image mode over here and switch from 8-bit to 32-bit. And then once you switch to 32-bit, then when you go to save as, you'll be able to save it as an HDRI, right? And that HDRI, I was able to bring it into the Unreal Engine. And let me move this up a little bit so you can see. And I was able to add it into here, just drag and drop into a folder. It would automatically detect it and convert it for use. And then really all I had to do was uh, select the HRA backdrop over here and over by where you see the cube map, you just have to drag and drop it over there, right? So for example, let me test uh, this one over here, just drag and drop it. And you see it updating back there. There we go. And so, that's the awesome, awesome thing about uh, Blockade Labs Skyboxes is that they work nicely with the Octane Render Engine using the HDRI backdrop. So guys, if you want to create some super duper renders using uh, Octane, the free version of it, with uh, uh, you're able to use path tracing as well as uh, uh, direct rendering. So let's go ahead and select the Octane Render target over here. Uh, but the, what you have to add that plugin once you've installed it. You have to go to settings over here, go to plugins and make sure you uh, enable it. Right now I'm using uh, version dot six, seven dot one. So hopefully in the future you're using something much newer and better and still in better uh, version. So this is again, this is a free version. But once you have it selected, you can scroll down over here and you can see all the different camera settings that you have. <laughs> and then under the kernel, let's go to the kernel over here. I'm using path tracing, but you can also switch to direct lighting model, which is actually faster, but you can see the difference in how it's not calculating the same now. It's using ambient occlusion. However, if I switch to diffuse, then it acts as almost like it's path tracing, but it seems it's much faster than path tracing. So those are the different models that you can use. Uh, you can use path tracing kernel, or you can do use the direct lighting kernel. So thank you so much for joining me again, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're alerted when I post a new video. See you next time and dare to dream big. Bye for now. Much love to each and every one of you.